kindergartners. Happy, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, we got a lot to do, so let's get going. I got some work from Ebenezer. Sight word sentences. I see a bird. This is about a bird. All of us like football. I need an umbrella. I buy milk and bread. Wow. Using sight words to make sight word sentences. I love it. That's some good learning right there. I got a picture. Let me see what my picture is. Ah, here's a picture about cheetahs. Oh, Miss Paws wrote about cheetahs. Let me read you what she said. She get, put so many details in here. This is awesome. Cheetahs can be found in Sub-Sahara Africa. They eat rabbits and birds. They hunt during the day. Cheetahs, cheetahs have a pale yellow coat with black dots on the upper part and are white on the underbelly. Wow. Did she tell us where they live? Yeah, they live in Africa. Did she tell us what they eat? Yeah, they eat rabbits and birds. Did she tell us what they look like? Yes, she did. She said their upper coat, the part on their back, is yellow with black dots, and the under part on their belly is white. And did she tell us one thing they do? She did. They hunt. She does a good hunter. Let's go ahead and put this up here. And finally, I have a picture from, oh, look, who's that? There's Morgan and his mom. And look, because we're doing animals, Morgan's mom is wearing wolf ears. Morgan, I want you to tell us more about wolves. That is so cool. I love it. Okay, here we go. Wall of Fame archway, right there. Let's get going. Today is the first day of May. Today is May 1st. Today is Friday, May 1st, 2020, and we have a new calendar. We have a new calendar. Today is the first, right here is number one, the first, and it's a Friday. If we just go up the column, a column goes up and down, go to the top of the column, there's our word Friday. Friday is one of our seven days a week. This week is very short, but in May we have one, two, three, four weeks, four weeks. And these are these are sort of a part of the week we've had, which is mostly April. But every row is a week. There are seven days in a week. Let's do it. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Bing, bang. Days of the week. Bing, bang. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, ming, mong. All right, today is Friday, May 1st, 2020. An abbreviated, a short way to write that is five. Oh, because May is our fifth month right here. Our tape is right here, very beginning of May. May is our fifth month. So five represents May, dash one. The one represents the day. Today's the first. And dash 20, the 20 represents the year. 2020, the last two digits are our 20 here. May 1st, 2020. On our calendar, we have a pattern. A pattern. Repeats. A pattern. Repeats. The pattern, we don't know yet. <laughs> because nothing has been turned over. So let's check it out. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be a snowman? I don't think so. You think it's going to be a pumpkin? I don't think so. What would be something in May? Sun? Maybe the sun. Rain? Probably rain. Flowers? Hmm. Yep, it's a flower. Lots of flowers in May. May has lots of flowers. In fact, today is a day we call May Day. The very first day of May is called May Day. And it's a day when people a lot of times go out and collect flowers and put them in baskets and put them out and make what we call May Day baskets. So that is something you can do today if you want. Make a little basket or if you have a basket and gather a bunch of flowers in it for May Day. And you can give it to somebody. Give it to somebody. It's part of what we do on May Day. May Day is the very first day of May. And May has a lot of flowers. This is a yellow tulip. A flower that looks in this shape is called a tulip. We have a yellow tulip. That's the first part of our pattern. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Let's look out the window. I can already tell the weather has changed. The weather has changed. What do we have? 
What do you see out there? Do you see blue sky or white sky? What do you see? I see a lot of sun. It is a sunny day. Come on over, let's do our graph. Today is the first day of May and it is a sunny day. Blue sky and I, that sun is bright. It's coming in my window. So now already first day, we have one sunny day in May. So we could tell somebody who came to Seattle who's never been here. May is a pretty sunny month so far. All right, we have been at home 52 days. 52 is two ones, two ones, and five groups of 10, five groups of 10. On my chart, 52 is right here. How can I count to it? Always by ones. I can always count to 52 by ones. I can also count by twos. Look, that's my pattern. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. It's my pattern to count by twos. How else? Can I count by fives? 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Nope. Can I count by tens? Yep, I can count by tens to any number as long as I start at a number where the digit in the ones place is the same. So I'm going to start up here at my two. 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. All right, we're counting by ones to 52. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap our feet forward as we count. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Two, four, six. oh, I'm counting by ones. What do I do with my body? Or what number do I start on again? Oh, Miss Root, it's too early in the morning. Miss Root forgot. It's because I was thinking in my head about what I want to do for twos. Ah, counting by ones, we start on one. The clue is in the question. All right, here we go. You ready? Stand up. Let's do it by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. All right, we're going to do, we're going to do something a little new to count by twos, okay? And it's called noodles, okay? Noodle up. Noodle down, noodle up, noodle down, noodle up, noodle down, okay? And a noodle, every time I have one arm go up, that's one count. We're gonna count by twos, okay? I call it the noodle. You ready to do the noodle with me? Let's do it. We're gonna count by twos, starting at what number? Yeah, you got it, two. Do the noodle with me, ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20, keep going, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, keep going, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, I'm doing my noodles, all right, now last thing we're going to do is count by tens, we're going to jump, ready to jump, one jump, one count, one to one correspondence. We're going to do 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. That's one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. Ready to do your six jumps? Starting at two. Here we go. 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. Very nice. Turning it around. What do we got? Ah. Uh -huh. Look at this. Here we go. We have our three sight words this week. Next week, we will have four sight words. We're almost to 100 sight words. We're almost done with our sight words. And then we're going to review. Review means look at again. So we're going to review. But right now, I want you to really be focusing on learning those sight words. First one is people. Let's go ahead and spell the letters in people. P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, people. Our next one is could. Could. C-O-U-L-D, could. And finally, the word way, 
W-A-Y, way. We have letter pairs. Letter pairs are two letters that come together and make a new sound. My favorite, T-H. Show me what you do. You got it. S-H is my silent. C-H. Choo, choo. T-C-H is a word chunk that makes the same sound. W-H, same sound as W. A-R is my pirate of roommate. Arr, ar shama and arham. C-K, k and a k and a k, k, k. O-R, is it a sight word or a letter pair? Morgan, Morgan or he's got that letter pair in his name. We have our groups of letter pairs that make the same sound. E-R, I-R, U-R makes an er sound. E-R, mother, brother, sister, father, Ebenezer, Alexander, Oliver, er. I R like a bird makes an er sound, and U R like turtle makes an er sound. A Y, I like to play every day in May and say, A. Hey, look, May has her A Y. May has her A Y. And then A I rain. A A A A A A A. We're hoping we don't have a lot of that in May. E E and E A are my E's. I'm free to see. The trees with Shawnee, and then E A, eat and read E, O W, owl I O O O O U and O W are my owls, O U ow, Ooh. and O W is my owl eyes, ow. We have E W and O O which make our oo sound, E W ew broccoli stew ew. And O O Rudy Toot Toot O O I O Y Oi Oi You Boy Give Me That Toy Oi Word Chunks I N G is Ing I Like to Swing in the Spring with My Ring and Sing Ing And I G H has My Wacky G H that Shows Up and Does Wacky Things There's My I G H S at the End means More Than One Y at the end of the word can have an I sound like fly, 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 or E like a baby. ED means it happened in the past. It happened in the past. And it can have three sounds. It can have a D sound, a T, or an ED sound. The D sound is like listened. I listened. The T sound is like uh, I talked, or I walked, or I picked. And the ed sound is like the word painted. I painted. Wonky E shows up at the end and does nothing. Wonky. But a silent E makes a middle vowel say its name. Say my name, say my name. And the E is silent. Let's do the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels of the alphabet. All right. Good readers, look for the parts to read the word. We have some long words here and we have words we can sound out. So this is a message from uh, Ella. Ella wrote to us about this. What is this? I can break this into words. Do it with me. Koala. 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 And let's look down here. I see this word. Do it with me. J -un Jungle, 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 okay? And then we have a couple words we can sound out, which we'll get to as we read it. So reading the parts to read the word is a great strategy when we get to those longer words. So let's go ahead and read what Miss Ella sent us in her writing about koala bears. I'm gonna show you the picture that goes with it. There's the picture that goes with it. How cool is that? There they are. There's two koala bears. I see a tree says, koala, get your mouth ready, b bears, oh, we know this one, live, live at the jungle. They are, oh, let's sound it out, first sound, that's right, g, er, gr, letter pair A, gray, they, letter pair EA, E, t, eat, get your mouth ready, L, 
L-line, ooh, ooh. Oh, there's my EA again for E. Leave, leave, leaves. They, oh, we had this word yesterday. Climb, climb. Get your math ready. T tr e, trees. To find a, all right. I see a letter pair here. B, that's a B. Branch. To, get your math ready. Sleep. What's the E, E, E? Sleep. Sleep. Look, they're sleeping. They're sleeping in the tree. So you found a branch to sleep. Let's do it again. This time a little smoother. Pointers up. Koala bears live at the jungle. They are gray. They eat leaves. They climb trees to find a branch to sleep. Smooth as possible, third time. Koala bears live at the jungle. They are gray. They eat leaves. They climb trees to find a branch to sleep. Nicely done. I love this writing. This is really nice writing. I love that you guys are including those four things. Where do they live? What do they look like? What do they eat? And what do they do? Does she have those four things? Let's check where they live. Yep, they live in the jungle. What do they look like? They are gray. What do they eat? They eat leaves. And what do they do? They climb trees to find a branch to sleep. She had those four things. Nicely done, Ella. All right, here we go. Look at that first line. What do you see that you know? I see some stuff I know. Koala. Let's spell it. K-O-A-L-A. -A. Koala. Bears. B-E-A-R-S. Ooh, it's got a wonky A-R in it. And it has what at the end? Yeah, she's talking about more than one. So it's got my S. Live. Let's spell live. L-I-V-E. It fits our rule that words cannot end in V in English. They have to have an E after it. So it's a wonky E. It's just there so we do not have... That V at the end. At, sight word at, second line. At, A-T, at. Sight word the. Sight word the, spell it with me. T-H-E, the. What letter pair? Yep, you got it, my favorite. T-H, jungle, let's spell it. J-U-N-G-L-E, jungle. What do you see in jungle? Mm -hmm. That's right, it's a wonky E. It's not a silent E, it's not jungle. Not a jungle, the jungle. Sight word they. They. T H E Y they. Which has what letter pair? T H. It has our E Y. Tevia was very upset that I haven't taught you this yet, so I'm not going to circle it yet until we learn it. Third line. Sight word R. A R E R. Letter pair? Yep. A R. What kind of E? Oh, we got a lot of wonky E's here. Wonky E. Gray. Gray. G-R-A-Y. You see the letter pair? I do too. A-Y. Sight word they. Oh, I see a couple of they's. There's a they here. And a they here on the fourth one. Let's spell it. T-H-E-Y. T-H-E-Y they. Letter pair TH. Letter pair TH. Eat. Let's spell it. E A T, eat. What letter pair? You got it. E A. Fourth line, leaves. Now, leaves is going to be a little confusing when we think about that E, but we're going to get to that. L E A V E S. Okay. So there's the letter pair E A. What sound does that letter pair make? Yeah, it makes an E sound. It makes an E sound. So that E, if I took away my S, that E is actually not making this say E because this already did say E. That E is there because what letter do you see? 
Yeah, it's a V. It's just like live. It's a V. Words cannot end in V in English. It's a rule. So this E is actually a wonky E because it's making sure that this word leave does not end in V. And leaves, we're talking about more than one, not just one leaf, more than one leaf leaves. Climb, let's spell it. C-L-I-M-B, climb. Trees, T-R-E-E-S. What do I see? I see a letter pair, E-E. -E. And do they, oh, I did my letter pair in the middle of my E, whoops. And is it one tree, do they climb just one tree or do, are there more than one tree? Yeah, you got it, more than one tree. Let's go down to the fifth line. Sight word two. T-O, find, let's spell it, F-I-N-D, sight word A, my favorite, spell it with me, A, what's the word, A, 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 branch, B-R-A-N-C-H, branch, what letter pair, yeah, C-H at the very end, and two, sight word two, spell it, T-O-2. Finally, we're going to go down to the sixth line. Ooh, this is a long message, you guys. Good writing. Ella, she did this all on her own. Sleep. S-L-E-E-P. Sleep. And we have our letter pair. E. Okay. So right now, kindergartners, I forgot there's one more piece of writing I want to tell you about that Isaac sent in. Isaac sent in, it's on my computer, his uh, writing was about giant Pacific octopus. Ooh, an octopus. Octopus has eight legs, eight tentacles. They live in the Pacific Ocean. They have no bones. Eight legs, two. They eat crabs and more. They hunt at night. Okay? Very cool. Where do they live? The Pacific Ocean. What do they look like? They have no bones. They have eight legs. They What do they eat? They eat crabs. And what do they do? They hunt at night. And I found out spider monkeys, they don't eat fur. They eat fruit. It's good to know. Let's go over here and read our chart. It's kind of uh, bright, but we're going to read our chart. Here's our E chart. Did you think of any other E words? I didn't. Let's do E, Ella, E, eraser, E, eraser, E. There's two E's in there. Epic, E, epic, E. So you have to decide, is it an E sound or an E sound? Yvonne, E, Yvonne, E. Oh, sorry, the E at the end. Email, E, email, E. Elephant. E elephant e. Encore. E encore e. Eggs. E eggs e. Elvin. E elven e. Elsa. E Elsa e. Ear. E ear e. Eat. E eat e. Elbow. E elbow e. Every. E every e. Elf. E elf e. Event. E, event, E, and an E. Enormous, E, enormous, E. Easter, E, Easter, E, and it has an E at the end. Eeyore, E, Eeyore, E, and it's got a wonky E at the end. East, E, East, E. Evergreen, E, Evergreen, E. And it's got an E at the end. Lots of E's. I, I is just wonky. E, I, I. It's got E's in it, though. Electric. E electric e eh. Ewok E Ewok E Fort E B E Fort E B E Very nice. And now one of the things I want you to do today, it's Friday, so we're gonna have newspaper. I already wrote my newspaper. If you look here on my paper, you'll see I have my name at the top and the date, 5-1-20. I wrote the words first, and so now I'm going to put in my uh, picture, okay? So sometimes you can write your newspaper, if you already know what you want to write about, write your words first, and then make your picture go with your words. So let me read you my words. Every newspaper has to have at least one detail, okay? This newspaper has two details, okay? This week, Grace and Tevia made couch ports. I helped them, detail one. They used the pillows to make the fort, detail two. So this week, Grace and Tevia made fort couch, couch forts. I helped them. They used pillows to make the fort. So my picture, what's my picture have to be? Is it them eating lunch? No. Them playing outside? No. 
them in the bathtub? No. It has to match the words. They made couch forts. So my picture, I have to have what a couch fort looks like. Have you ever made a couch fort? Yeah. They made these couch forts. They're really fun. So a couch fort, they take the cushions off the couch and they make forts with them. Okay? They make these forts where they use the pillows and the cushions. They use the pillows and the cushions to make walls. Okay? So here we are. Here's Miss Ruth's couch. And I'm going to have the pillows. I'm going to put P for pillows. Okay? Here's my couch. And here's Tevia. T for Tevia. Tevia was here. And he's got a pillow here. He's got to figure out how to do that. And then Gracie. Gracie was hiding. She was hiding in the fort. She got a little head up. She was hiding behind it. Okay? For Grace. So make sure your picture matches your words. When you do your newspaper today, make sure your picture matches your words. And if you want, challenge yourself to write your words first and then draw your picture. Last thing, chicken soup with rice. We have a new one today. We have a new one today. Oh, it's the bird with the nest of soup. The nest of soup. Look at that. Let's look. May. In May, I truly think it best to be a robin lightly dressed, concocting soup inside my nest. Mix it once, mix it twice, mix that chicken soup with rice. So a robin is a kind of bird. There's the robin bird. And here's his nest. He's mixing up soup. They have the word concocting, concocting soup. To concoct something is to make it. So he's making soup. Lightly dressed means he's not wearing a lot of clothes because it's warm, right? Let's read it one more time. Read it with me. In May, I truly think it best to be a robin lightly dressed, concocting soup inside my nest. Mix it once, mix it twice, mix that chicken soup with rice. All right, kindergartners, have a wonderful May Day. Go outside, play in the sun. If you want to make a May Day basket, we're going to talk about that. Um, a little later with Miss Roots group, if you are in Miss Mulder's group, go out, get some flowers. You can even make a paper basket, a paper cone shaped basket to hold your flowers. Go ahead and try it. Try it with mom and dad. Mm -mm. I have dandelions in my yard. You can even get dandelions because they're pretty. Okay. And have a happy May Day. I will see you on Monday.